Today we will di be discussing DNA sequencing, talking about two papers. The first is a new method for sequencing DNA by Maxim and Gilbert. The second is DNA sequencing with chain terminating inhibitors by Sanger, Nicklin, and Coulson, narrated by Jan He and Courtney Morris Gordon. Several discoveries were made that made possible DNA sequencing. The first was in 1953 by Watson and Crick when they discovered the structure of DNA, which will be discussed in another uh, topic in this series. In 1972, recombinant DNA technology was developed which permitted the isolation of DNA fragments. In 1975, the first genome was sequenced of a bacteriophage using the plus-minus method. In 1977, Sanger and Gilbert published two independent methods for sequencing. They both received the Nobel Prize for this work in 1980. The base-specific cleavage method was the method discovered by Gilbert, the Gilbert Group. It starts with a DNA molecule that is labeled at one end with radioactive P32. The DNA strand is then randomly cleaved by reactions that specifically fragment its sugar phosphate backbone, only where certain bases have been chemically removed. Purines are methylated by dimethyl sulfate and the, at the base's glycidic bond. Methylated glycidic bond of adenine is less stable than guanine. Using an alkaline treatment, this releases adenine preferentially. When a gentle acid treatment is done, it releases guanine preferentially. Pyrimidines are um, attacked using hydrazine, which attacks across the C4 and C6 atoms to open the base's ring. High salt concentrations target cytosine preferentially. A similar reaction is performed at lower salt concentrations, which targets both pyrimidines. Redundant information gives more accuracy and allows for mes less misinterpretation in this method. In the Gilbert method, a fragment of DNA was isolated. The DNA fragment is labeled on both strands with radio labeled P32. The strands were then separated by gel electrophoresis to get a slow and fast strand. The strands were then cut and cleaned from the gel to be used in the four reaction type specific reaction type specific for each base. Aliquots of each reaction are loaded onto an acrylamide gel. The sequences can then be determined by reading the bands on the gel and determining the corresponding base. Each column is specific for a base. A strong band in column 1 and a weak band in column 2 represent adenine. A strong band in column 2 with a weak band in column 1 represents guanine. A band in both columns 3 and 4 represent a cytosine. Lastly, a band only in column 4 represents thymine. A summary of the Gilbert method is that this method is based on chemical modification of DNA and its subsequent cleavage at specific bases. The chemical sequencing method was published two years after the Singer plus minus method and rapidly became more popular. Advantages of this method is that it uses purified DNA directly, while the initial, initial Singer method required that each read start be cloned for production of single-stranded DNA. Disadvantages of this method are that it is technically complex and it uses hazardous chemicals. It's also difficult to use with high throughput applications. The classical chain termination method or Sanger method requires a single strand DNA template, the DNA primer, the DNA polymorphic, radioactively or fluorescently labeled nucleotide, and the modified nucleotide, which can terminate DNA strand elongation. The DNA sample is divided into four separate sequencing reactions containing all four of the strand standard DLC nucleotide and the DNA polymorphic. To each reaction is added only one of the four DLC nucleotides, which are the chain terminating nucleotides, lacking a three alkyloxy group required for the formation of a phosphodiester bond between two nucleotides. Thus, terminating DNA strand is tensed and resulting in DNA fragment of wiring lines. The newly synthesized and labeled DNA fragment are heat nature and separated by sites with by geoelectrophoresis on a denaturing polyacrylate gel with each of the four reactions run in one of the four individual lanes. The DNA bands are, are then visualized by auto, auto, auto radiography or UA light, 
and the DNA sequence can be directly read of the X-ray film or gel image. In the image on the right, the dark bands correspond to DNA fragments of, dif of different lines. A dark band in a lens indicates a DNA fragment. That is the result of termination after incorporation of a diadeus nuclei. The relative projection of the different bands among the four lines are then used to read DNA sequence from bottom to top. In his original paper, the restricted fragment A12 and A14 was as primers on the complementary strand of S174 DNA. The inhibitor used was DDDTP, DDATP, DDTTP, and the AICTP. The electrophoresis was on a 12% accurate light source. The DNA sequence is written from left to right and upwards besides the corresponding bands on the radio autography. With longer restricted enzyme fragments as primers, it is necessary to split them off from the newly synthesized DNA strings before the electrophoresis. This is normally done by digestion with restricted enzyme. When this technique is used, the products are cut with restricted enzyme as above. The difficulty arrives if there is a second restricted enzyme set close to the first one, because this will give rise to a stable pattern of band that is superimposed on the normal ones, making improvisation impossible. One way in which this can be avoided is by the single side rival substitution measures. So the Sung measure for the summary of Sung measure, when the measure was first published, sequence of about 15 to 20 base pairs from the primer side was possible. The disadvantage of these measures is band pairs up caused by the base pair loops, and uh, at the time it was hard to obtain all the DDNTPs. And uh, the advantage of the advantage of this method is requires no preliminary attention and the use commercially available DNA polymerases and the less artifacts bands than other methods. To conclude, over time the Sanger method became increasingly popular due to its broad applications and ease of use. The basic concepts of this method are now used in most current sequencing facilities with fluorescent labels in the place of the previous radio labels.